Hello, this is Josephine, your detox coach and your sister. Well, today I want to share a very special detox recipe that I love, my family loves, and it's a favorite for a few clients also that I've worked with. So this is the roasted acorn squash with quinoa. Quinoa is a great substitute for rice or any kind of grains. Now, let me just tell you that this is going to be one of your favorites as well. And your family will also like this and enjoy this a lot. Because it's all about eating electric vegan foods that are detoxing to your body that heals you and also that really eliminate those female reproductive issues that you're dealing with right now. Now, these foods are really there to balance your hormones. The recipes that I share, they're really there to balance your hormone and eliminate fibroids. Now, next week, I'm opening doors to my 12 weeks detox program Yes, girl. You, I hope you're ready to join this. And I'm inviting you to join us for 12 weeks to detox the body, balance your hormone, and start shrinking those fibroids naturally. Now, listen, I've shared a bunch of amazing information here. I have shared list of fruits and vegetables to detox with and a bunch of helpful information that you can do solo. And you know, that can really help you start detoxing and you can start detoxing solo. You can choose to do that, but riding solo, there's a big difference between working alone and detoxing with me. And is when that, when you roll solo, when you're doing this alone by yourself, you're responsible for knowing every single food detail of what to eat and what to avoid. I mean, that sounds like a pretty hard work for me. Now, I've made that work easy for you. And when you feel overwhelmed and fall off the wagon detoxing alone, there's pretty much no one there to answer your questions and also to just give you that support that you need and want at that particular moment. So that makes it much easier to slip and go back to your old ways. And now we're just trying to get back on track, improving our health and lifestyle through what we eat, what we put in our body, because slipping back every now and then will just cost you moments in life. So it's all about improving your diet and lifestyle and eliminating fibroids naturally and other female reproductive issues as well. Now, when you detox solo, you also be likely frustrated, stressed out, and just not sure what to do next. But when you join the 12 weeks detox program that is opening next week, I'll be there to handhold you, you know, to through this detox process and you're going to learn things, how to curb those cravings, how to manage the stress, how to meal plan so you're not always cooking in the kitchen, there's a way to do it, you know. So I have a link below above this video if you're ready to change your life with this 12 weeks detox program. You can schedule a 30 minutes consultation fibro shrinking strategy call which is free and we can talk about the program and also see if we are a great fit to work together because that's very important you know. You have to be in a mindset where you're ready and be committed to the program. And I have a few clients already waiting. I'm excited because it's a moment uh, they need to start uh, experiencing. You have to start experiencing this for yourself. And girl, I hope you are ready too. All right. Now let's get ready. Let's start cooking this delicious acorn squash with quinoa. Enjoy this, be well, be healthy, be happy, and I'll catch you on the next cooking video. You're going to need one acorn squash, which I've already cleaned out, I've washed that. And then you're going to need one red, on, one red onion, peeled. And then you need some sweet peppers, three sweet peppers. Then I have lacinato kale or dino kale. I have about five leaves washed already. 
and I have two sticks of celery. Then I have quinoa. This is tricolor quinoa. And this is the brand that I am using. That's the brand that I have, tricolor quinoa. You can get that from the store. It's USDA organic, so you always want to get organic. And I already have my quinoa cooked, so it's one cup of quinoa. So this is the quinoa already cooked. So for this one cup of quinoa, you're just going to add two cups of water in a pot and you add a little bit of pinch of salt or you can just um, boil it without salt on simmer it on medium to low low to medium heat for about 25 to 30 minutes so for one cup quinoa you use two cups of water until it's tender then for the oil we're going to use avocado oil i recommend avocado oil or grapeseed oil when you're going to cook a lot and um, olive oil also when you're making your salads then I have salt here so I am using Celtic salt so either sea salt or black lava salt or pink Himalayan salt because those are not they are um, not inflammatory the white processed salt is very inflammatory so try, do your best to avoid that for the spices because you want to spice your food to make it very delicious so you can enjoy it I'm going to use cumin, fennel seed, which I'm going to um, use a mortar and a pestle so I can grate that. Then smoked paprika, turmeric, ground pepper, sage. As far as the quantity, you just add up to, you know, according to your taste, you know, but I'll show you, you can add the, the way I'm adding, or you can use like one teaspoon of the spices. So uh, up to your uh, liking. That's what I, um, I always recommend because we all have different tastes of uh, flavors and taste birds. So up to your liking. So the first thing first, what you need to do is I already have my quinoa cooked. So have the water boiling so that you can start cooking the quinoa while you put everything, prepare the rest of the stuff. So have your quinoa cooking on low medium heat for about 25 minutes until it's tender. So I'm moving everything aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to bake the acorn in the oven so 450 Fahrenheit, you're going to bake that for about 35 minutes until it's tender. So I'm just gonna show you how I do this. I'm just gonna move all these veggies. This is all we're gonna use. This is what we're gonna use when we're making the quinoa, but first we need to put the acorn in the oven. Okay, so you have your acorn already washed. This is really great. It, it's full of carotenoid, it's anti-inflammatory, and a great substitute for regular white potato when you're detoxing. So we're just going to do is, either we can, you're going to cut this in half. Don't be intimidated by the, the shape. Just get a good kitchen knife. See, now that one is getting stuck. But you got to put in going to use your muscles and once you have that so you're cutting that and then you're going to cut that into a quarter so you're going to quarter this so first half then you quarter it's like butternut squash to the same thing they're similar i do actually have a recipe of savory squash together so then what you do is you just take out the seed so what you do is you take out the seed and you're going to bake this in the oven. So just remove that. All that, all the seed. And this is gonna come out really, really delicious. And you'll see how we're going to serve it with the quinoa because you have the lacinato kale, which is a good high in chlorophyll and vitamin. 
So it's a great addition. You're adding more greens in there too and fresh veggies, which we're not going to overcook, but I will show you. So it's a great, it's full of, it's anti-inflammatory. It's a great recipe that you can have for lunch or for dinner, even breakfast, <laughs> you know? So now that we have that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle some oil. So you take your avocado oil and you just, in there, just pour a little bit in there. So when you're baking it in the oven, which you already have right now, heating up 450 Fahrenheit. Okay. And then we're going to take a pinch of salt. So just a little bit of dash that on there. Then we're going to take some pepper, black pepper. I should have done this inside the baking tray. That way you're not making such a huge mess, but that's okay. So what you do is you just lather that oil around the acorn, squash, as such. So just lather that so everything is, you know, you massage that in there nicely. Like that. So the oven is about ready. And I'm going to place this in a parchment paper. And I'll show you how we're going to do this. So, as you can see, I have this. And I'm just going to place that in my baking tray. And we're going to bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes. So you can just use a fork to check if it's tender and it's soft and it's able that, you, you know, you just keep checking. But about check after about 30 minutes and see. So we're just going to bake this for about 30, 30 to 35 minutes on a 450 Fahrenheit and then we're going to start making the quinoa on the side. So now that you have the acorn squash in the oven baking and the quinoa is also simmering for about 25 minutes or until tender, we're going to start working on the vegetables now. So we take the sweet peppers, just remove the seeds. You can keep, you can leave the seeds, it's, it's fine. It's up to you. Sometimes I remove them, sometimes I don't. Um, that's okay. So this is already washed, sweet peppers. See, when you're detoxing, you need color. Color is what is anti-inflammatory. Color is what really shrink the tumors and gives you all the minerals and vitamins that you need to detox the liver. So these are all antioxidant. Peppers are sweet, high in antioxidant. So we're just gonna cut that. You have a nice sharp knife, be careful. And just cut that into tiny pieces. Chop that up. Well, it doesn't have to be so tiny. <laughs> it's, you know, if you like them larger chunks you can do the same as well okay so we have that so we're just chopping up all the veggies so we're going to take the red onion i recommend to use the red onion over the white onion because of the color it's anti-inflammatory food that have color anti-inflammatory and when you're cooking with different variety of color you're really introducing your body to foods that are healing and nurturing. So just ensure that you're always adding variety of color and not just having one color green or, you know, make it colorful. You will also enjoy and you'll also have different tastes and flavors. Okay, so we have the onion chopped up. So as you can see, if you have things running well in the kitchen, you have your... You have your acorn squash baking, you have your quinoa cooking, and you're cooking quinoa in big batch. Freeze that. So just double the ingredients, you know. 
you don't have to use the exact ones I'm using right now just double if you want to use two cups of quinoa you put four cups of water so that way you can make enough and use it in salads quinoa is such a great substitute for you know protein animal protein you get it's a great anti-inflammatory gluten-free grain wild grain that is such a great it's high in protein and other minerals as well it's high in fiber so that's going to keep you going as well so now we have the lacinato kale which I already washed you can add more vegetables so I have five about five of these I would um, this is high in chlorophyll that dark color this is what detox the liver and when your liver is working properly detoxing you're eliminating toxins from the body um, you can always you can you can use this in a smoothie as well so you're not wasting or you can chop them up if you like it crunchy you can chop that up so I have the five leaves of the lacinato kale I definitely favor lacinato kale over the regular kale because it's really high in chlorophyll and you get powerful vitamins and minerals from this over the other kale so I always go choose this one over the other one even in my smoothies I definitely prefer this lacinato kale or dino, dino kale that's what they call it in the store just go to the store make sure it's organic okay so we have that so this helps a lot with when you're preparing your food in the kitchen is you are just making everything chopping everything first before you can start cooking it makes everything so much easier and faster okay so as you can see see what we have you see all this color this is how you want to eat you know whenever you're making something introduce color so this is perfect we have everything nicely and chopped so we're going to check on the quinoa which I already have my cooked quinoa so at this point I'm hoping that you now the quinoa will be about ready so as you can see I already have my quinoa here the other thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is we can add some crunchiness to this recipe and I will show you how to do that with some walnuts walnuts is really healthy fat um, I definitely recommend to use this in your smoothies as well and also when you're cooking there are different ways you can incorporate nuts so you're getting that additional protein and it's such a healthy fat it's really good for your brain health it's good for basically a lot of things in your body and you know you want to eat uh, nuts healthy nuts Brazil nuts pine nuts so what we're going to do so this is um, a quart, uh, half a cup of walnuts that we're going to use and what I'm doing is I'm just breaking it up and then I'm gonna show you how we're going to add it into this recipe when this recipe comes together it's really really good it's delicious it adds that crunchiness and the taste that you wouldn't even believe <laughs> you know without you can this is optional I would recommend it you try both with walnuts and without walnuts but you will see that the taste is just really amazing okay so we're going to start preparing the quinoa and I'm going to show you what to do and then yeah we get serving the acorn is cooking so just break that into tiny pieces you can use a knife to chop that as well and just break it into tiny pieces that way it's not big chunks going in really really healthy nut to eat even as a snack you can have it with apples let's see that okay so that's good so okay so now we're going to start preparing the quinoa so what we do on medium to low heat you're going to add your avocado oil and your quinoa is already ready the acorn is almost about done and then you're just going to add the onion first 
I'm gonna add the onion. So this is on low, medium, because I don't like to overcook the vegetables and I would recommend you do the same, don't overcook the veggies. So just coat the we're doing is we're just making the sauteing, lightly sauteing the onion. So that's on low medium and what we're going to do is we're going to start adding our spices. So that's the turmeric. Good. Gonna think of that, then we're gonna have the cumin. So if you're using one cup, okay. and then you know some people like a lot of spice, it just depends, you know. Could be one teaspoon is enough for you. Okay, that's ground pepper, pepper black pepper and turmeric are best friend it actually enhances the effect how effective the turmeric is going to be so whenever and this is the sage a little bit of sage so the taste is all going to come out together so flavorful so well and then remember the fennel seed i used a mortar and I crushed a little bit in there, just a little, so I add that. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, paprika, light paprika, and a little bit of the turmeric. So we're going to let this, as you can see, it's not been on here for long, so about two minutes because we don't want to overcook a lot of things. Now this is something optional, but if you have cocoa aminos, so soy, try to eliminate the soy sauce or tamari soy sauce and use coconut aminos. This is a better option for and healthier and good for you and not the soy sauce which is inflammatory so you can add that it's optional you don't have to if you don't have it and you're going to add some salt so according to your liking flavor food according to your liking some people like a lot of you know spice because the spices i'm using are really good and they anti-inflammatory because things like turmeric, cumin, all the spices that I'm using are not anything, you know, like full of toxins or anything. These are, they're really good for you. So remember that walnut we had? So you take that walnut and you just add that in there. And you mix it all up. So now we're on medium medium heat so everything is on medium and it's see looking good everything is still crunchy because we're not we don't want to overcook so much okay so you see that looks good see that color see this is gonna taste really good too it looks good it tastes good you're feeling good about it so we're gonna, we're gonna just let that for about two more minutes. So this has been on here for two minutes, so additional about five minutes in total. So this entire recipe can take you about 50 minutes, like an hour or 50 minutes, you know, if you have everything cooking on the other end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some pepper Okay, the veggies are gonna go in last. 
And then that quinoa that you've cooked, one cup quinoa, so depending on the size, if you're gonna double that, that's perfect too. So that cooked quinoa, nice and fluffy. I'm gonna add that in there. See how beautiful that is? And crunchy too. So right about now, everything has cooked, so turn off the heat. And then we're going to add the veggies last because we don't want to overcook the veggies at all. So we're just going to add the vegetable last and you just mix that in there. So you have your protein, you have your veggie, really lots of veggie. We have the green pepper, the celery. So you see how everything is turned off. So the veggies are just going to cook with the heat from the rest of the things that we have. Now you look at that. So in total, in here you should have this about, look at that. See that beautiful color? The greens, you want them crunchy and still looking green. That's how you want to eat your greens, still looking green and you're not overcooking. This is still crunchy. Everything is still lightly, lightly cooked. And, the, and you already turn off the heat as well. I just tasted it. Don't, we don't need salt. It's good. It's perfectly seasoned. So the squash will be ready. And then we're going to serve this. So you can make enough of this and put it in the fridge for the week. You can have it twice or three times. That way you're saving so much time. If you really, I, th you go, I think you're really going to love this recipe and you're just going to keep having it over and over again. <laughs> I don't, you know, my family, we really enjoy this a lot. And we just keep serving it. Never gets too old. Okay, so the acorn squash will be ready and then we're going to serve everything. This is ready. It's, everything is ready. Okay, so we'll get the, take the um, acorn squash when it's ready and then we serve it. Now, I remove the acorn from the oven. And let's check. So you just wanna use a fork. Yeah, it's tender. And if you use a fork and you feel like it's not tender enough, put it back in the oven for maybe additional 10 more minutes. So this was, uh, this was in there for about 35 minutes. Yeah, so this is ready. So we're going to serve this. So this is how it should look like from the oven. So we're just gonna plate our food now. Now when you're inside the fiber shrinking kitchen, this is how you eat to detox. This is what your body needs to detox. So we're just going to add that quinoa. And make it like a bowl. Doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> Can be messy. That way it still looks beautiful. No? Now. See how that looks? Good. Mm hmm Now this was one acorn. So you can have made in quarter or you can make it in half and that make it a bowl. But this is like you can have two or one because <laughs> it's healthy, it's good for you. There's nothing, you know, crazy carbs. This is really the acorn squash is a great uh, substitute for the protein, which is high in carbohydrates. This is healthy, healthy, healthy for you. Okay. So look at that. This is delicious. It's already served. If you also want to have additional avocado with it. Look how beautiful that looks. Your plate looks beautiful. It tastes really good. And you're really going to enjoy this. You know, because you have put some love into the kitchen, into your food and whatever. You know the ingredients in this food from the beginning to the end. So I hope that you give this recipe a try. Let me know how you like it. And I will catch you on the next cooking tutorial. Thank you for watching.